Hello and welcome to a new video about digital technology. We're talking about numbering systems. We have heard about several number of numbering systems. And uh, today I want to just discuss how important it is to note which numbering system we are currently working with. Yeah? Why it is important, I'm going to show you. Let's say we have a number which looks like that. Yeah? That's our number. Huh? It could be any, any number. Huh? For instance, if 101 is decimal, then it's 101. Yeah? If the 101 is interpreted as, as, as binary, yeah, a spin. This means actually, what is the centesimal? It's one, two, four, four, and one is five. Yeah. Yeah. And what if one o oh one? would be a hex number, yeah? hexadecimal number. What would that be? So this is 1, this is 16, and this is 256. So it's 1 times 256 and 1 times 1. So we have 257 in decimal. And there you see, Ooh, that's a difference from 5 to 257. It's everything is possible. Yeah? So it is important to know what a number, because simply the numbers share the symbols. Yeah? The different numbering systems share the symbols. And we need to know how to interpret a number. Yeah? Because just by writing it down, it is not unique. Yeah? It, is, it is not sufficient. Is not sufficient. That's the reason. Yeah? So I made this now with these footnotes. All right, that's one possibility. However, usually if you're programming, you're writing a text file yeah? or a data is in some sort of text file. So this is usually not an option. Yeah? So there are other methods on how to see which number there is. A usual method is that if nothing is mentioned, it's a decimal number, because decimal is simply our usual numbering system. Yeah? That's it. So for instance, uh, 101 is decimal. To display, for instance, hexadecimal, some say it's 16 hashtag 101. Yeah? So this is hexadecimal. One possibility. Another possibility would be 101 H for other systems. Yeah? Hexadecimal. Yeah? And sometimes it's just one other sign. For instance, dollar is often used, the dollar sign. Yeah. So there are a number of possibilities how to uh, how to to mark them with plain text, yeah. So various possibilities. Possi possibilities to display the numbering system. Yeah. So this depends on programming language.
what is used. Yeah? So there are a lot of different methods are were invented. This, for instance, is a Siemens notation. This, I think, was Pascal, uh, Java. Depends a little bit, all right? Depends a little bit on the programming language. There is for sure uh, a method to distinguish those things. You just have to find out, okay? And this is important. Right? This is important to make to make this information, to carry this information with the number. Good, yeah? That's it for numbering systems. Numbering systems we are not going to talk anymore. Next time we are going to talk about logic. Yeah? Our logic base elements is our first thing. Yeah? What is a logic? Yeah? And so on. This will be covered in next video. For this time I have to already say thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.